Good morning. Good to see you today. I hope you had a good weekend. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for joining us. I wanted to talk about outward beauty today. Um, you might think about it. Uh, in the Old Testament, it actually mentions several people who are either handsome or beautiful. David, his son Absalom, Saul, all of those fellows, they were all apparently good-looking dudes to one degree or another. Uh, you, can, you can look it up for yourself. When it comes to the ladies, Abraham calls Sarah beautiful. It also talks about Rachel favorably when it comes to her looks. It also mentions Rebecca in the same light. There's nothing wrong with saying someone is handsome or someone is pretty, but we need to understand what Proverbs 31 says. Beauty is passing. And what we understand is that as we get older, um, what that should cause us to, to do as beauty is passing is we need to think about we need to think about what's truly important and what is truly beautiful. In the New Testament, it talks about women, and in 1 Timothy chapter 2 at verses 9 and 10, it says that they need to, that they need to dress modestly, and they need to not be gaudy, to paraphrase it, but then it says they need to be adorned with good works. That is what is truly beautiful in the Lord's eyes. It's not in how much makeup they put on or how high they can do their hair. It's about good works. In Romans chapter 10, the word beautiful is used. And in Romans 10 at verse 15, it says, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. It's a wonderful verse. I wonder what the Apostle Paul's feet looked like at the end of his life. You know, they didn't have socks and they didn't have enclosed shoes. They had sandals. I wonder what his feet looked like at the end of the day. According to Scripture, as he preached the gospel of peace, they were beautiful. You might think about it. I wonder what Jesus' feet looked like. The only person, and, and if you can think of anyone, when I ask this question, let me know. I, I was trying to think of anyone in the New Testament who it, it talks about their beauty, whether it's, a, whether it's a man or a woman, where it, it talks about them like there are folks talked about in the Old Testament. And I couldn't think of anyone in the New Testament except for one person. I think there's only one person who we know what they look like, and that's the person talked about in Isaiah 53 at verse 2. It says, For he shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as a root out of dry ground. What does a root out of dry ground look like? The rem remainder of the verse, it says, He has no form or comeliness, and when we see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him. And it's talking about Jesus. As far as I can tell, the only person that we know of in the New Testament, who we, and we know what they look like, it's Jesus. And he wasn't handsome, despite what the pictures may show. There wasn't anything comely about him. Now, are you going to call Jesus ugly? There is no one more beautiful, if you will. There is no one more handsome than our first love. Because beauty is passing, but some things are eternal, and that is Jesus. You might think about that. You might think about what's truly important to you. You might think about what true beauty is, and you might think about, uh, you might think about the Lord and what He actually looked like. Hope you enjoyed this study today. God bless you. Be a blessing to others. We'll see you tomorrow morning, we hope.